Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Chanel, aka Miss Brunson, and this is Miss Brunson Budgets. Um, as mentioned in my last video, which I will link down below, this pay period, I did not have anything to be stuffing into my debt or savings. So this week, again, we're not stuffing anything. Um, we're just going to be doing a quick little cash stuffing of my weekly wallet. Um, so we can go ahead and just get started. And I do want to let you guys know out there, if there ever comes a time where you're not stuffing anything into savings or not stuffing anything into your debt or wherever you're allocating your money, please, please, please do not get discouraged. Every little bit adds up in due time. No matter what season you're in, it's okay. You're meant to be where you're, you're supposed to be where you're meant to be, where which is where you're at. There are going to be times where you have one or two dollars to add or maybe, you know, even more. But do not get discouraged. You stay your course, you stay your path, and everything will end up fine. So we can just, you know, like, we'll get started. Um, so we do have, let me see what's all together. Oh, not a lot. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, so we have 20, 40, 10, 20, 30. All right, so we have ninety two dollars for the week to stuff. We'll start with blessings. Blessing does have a dollar left over and it looks like it will be getting two dollars this week for a total of three dollars for the week and um gas this week i already put 10 in yesterday i did dip into here i'm a little bit earlier uh to put ten dollars into my tank and that means we're only going to be adding 25 instead of my weekly 35. So how is your guys' week going? How's your weekend? You have any special plans? How was last weekend? Groceries this week is going to be getting 43, 20, 40, one, two, three, twenty, forty three. I really don't have anything planned this week or this weekend. Um, however, my week, oh my goodness, it felt like this week went by so slow. It felt so long. Um, Monday, we did have a work meeting, um, which I know some people don't like the meetings, but I actually don't mind them. Um, I think they're kind of fun, and it's like a little get-together of everybody. My daughter this week will be getting her usual five. Um, so I had fun. Uh, it is a little bit further than, like, traveling to my work, my place of work, because we go to a different area for the meeting. But um, I enjoyed it. It was It was cool. Household this week is getting nothing. Fun this week will be getting five. I did, um, actually this morning today, because <laughs> it's Saturday morning. I'm filming on a Saturday morning again. I think I prefer doing Fridays, though, if I'm being honest. Um, Friday nights, I'm not, I don't know, I'm just not feeling these morning ones. Um, but I don't know, because Friday nights, sometimes I'm, like, super duper tired. Like, last night, I was in bed by, like, 9, y'all. I was, I was out. I was done for the week. Um, but this morning I did finish my weekly Bible study and um, I'm doing this new plan on that YouVersion app that I was telling you guys about a couple videos ago. <laughs> um, but um, so I'm doing like my normal uh, Bible study plan, which is um, getting to read the Bible in 365 days an entire year. Um, I finished that this morning, my weekly one. I read I read a week ahead um yesterday so like my plan for what i was supposed to read yesterday may, may 5th i read 
next Friday. So I think next Friday, whatever date next Friday is, I read that one, which I felt like yesterday when I was looking, I was like, I, I don't remember reading these chapters. Um, but I guess I did because it says I'm supposed to read this. <laughs> um, I was totally on the wrong week. So this morning I read what I was supposed to read yesterday as well as what I was I'm supposed to read today. But on the YouVersion app, I'm doing this new like fearless fearless bible study thing um it has like a daily devotional and then the the scriptures that you're reading for that day and it's like i believe it's a 10 or 16 week um bible study devotional and i can honestly this is my first week into it i did my full first week um today and I love it. I'm really someone who's really anxious and I'm I'm fearful of doing anything. Like there are things that I want to do. I'm so afraid to do them and that that's why I don't do them. <laughs> and then I don't necessarily have any regrets, but I'm always wondering like, oh, well, if I did this or if I did that. So this is just something to help me really just like place my faith 100% full forced into the Lord and just what if if it's something that I'm wanting to do and I, I speak to God about it and he places it in my heart, don't be afraid to do it. Just do it. Sometimes you just, even though overall you may fail in one thing, it doesn't, it's not necessarily a fail. Um, one, because you're stepping onto the next adventure, but two, because there's something that you have to learn in that adventure, whether you failed or succeeded in it. There's something in you doing that you need to get from it to help you succeed in your next adventure um so that's what i'm learning this week <laughs> um and doing my my fearless bible bible study um besides just reading the the entire word which also i read this week i'm gonna tell you guys um i think it was in <laughs> it was in the one that i read yesterday which i read for it's next fridays which i'll read again next friday um, just because I read it, I'm not going to skip over it. I'm going to read it again. Um, but it really stuck with me. And I even shared it with my husband last night after work when we came home. Um, it really got me like, and my husband even asked, like, why does it, why do you, why does that, why is that so important to you? Why does it, why do you have so much fear into it? And I was like, because it's scary. No, you don't think so? Like, <laughs> but um, it basically, I think it was Deuteronomy, um, uh, I think it was Deuteronomy 28 chapter 28 that I was reading and oh my goodness just the blessings that you will get from abiding by the Lord and, and listening to his word and following his word versus the curses that you will get and oh <laughs> I'm somebody I'm a rule follower or I try I very very much so try to be a rule follower um, I feel rules are in place to get things done get them done correctly efficiently but um I've, I've just, I've never read the Bible. So in me reading it now and figuring out like, and knowing and learning what the word is and what we are to do versus what we're not to do. Um, and seeing like the blessings that can come of abiding by his word and the, the curses, <laughs> the punishment for not abiding by his word is just, it's, it terrifies me. It's horrifying. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but, um, me knowing that I'm doing something wrong. Like I hold so much guilt for that. Like I hold so much guilt just knowing and and as I'm learning like what comes and what's the punishment for not abiding by his rules or abiding by his word. I don't know, like it really got to me yesterday. Like I don't want to know that side of the Lord. Like I, I don't want to know that side of God. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm going, I'm in this transition where I'm really trying to live my life um, on the word. And I know there will be shortcomings, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep getting back up and I'm going to keep trying because I I, I really don't want to see his wrath. <laughs> um, eating out this week, we'll be getting nothing. And then I'll be getting the rest, which would be $2 or $12. Um, $2 I'm actually going to put back into my bank for something that had came out um and uh it, it brought me two dollars short so i'll put that back into my bank and i'll have ten dollars for the week and that's all my cash stuffing guys um 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> it was just a quick little cash stuffing. I hope you guys um, enjoyed my rant of my Bible studying. I will see you guys next week. Bye.